Hey guys, welcome back to Future Specs. We're going to be going over some of our favorite and awesome Frank Frazetta comic covers. Yeah, guys, we got a lot of books to go over. Before we get into it, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. And guys, when you're done with this video, make sure you go check out the video from Wednesday because we actually went over the comic book history of Frank Frazetta. So you don't want to miss that too. So first, we're going to start at sort of the beginning of his career with Famous Funnies. He had a nine-issue run from about like 210 to 219-ish. And some really awesome covers here on 210. We have this underwater like sea monster cover here of Buck Rogers, which is really awesome. And then on 212 is a really awesome space cover with uh, the ship there and the lady there floating in space. That's really awesome with the planet and everything. And then 213, this is personally probably my, uh, I don't know, it's one of my favorite Frank Rosetta covers. This is Famous Funnies 213. You see the monster, You can kind of, he's like walking into the spaceship and you can like kind of like see his legs, but like he's a silhouette and it's just a super dope cover. And then you obviously got Buck Rogers and his girl there. And they're like, oh, no, what's going on? There's a monster coming. But like, I don't know. I just like love that freaking cover with the silhouette of the monster. And like, and also the look at the machinery on it. The machinery yeah. in the spaceship is like so detailed and like really cool. And then obviously we got 214, another really great cover. Uh, I think this is probably the same monster. And he is on the spaceship. He's like on the top, like, you know, kind of, you know, tracking him down. Yeah. But and then you got the probably probably Mars in the background, big red planet. Um, but man, Frazetta draws spaceships really dope, man. Oh you yeah, know? yeah, and I I really like the way he does monsters and stuff too. It's oh yeah, really yeah. awesome. And now we're going to move on to the magazines. First up, we have Eerie here with issue two, which is this really awesome like all like the only way I can describe it is ritual sort of cover. And this was actually the first full-size magazine eerie book with number one was more of an ash can size so it's really cool that frazetta was on these magazines right from the beginning that's a crazy painted cover man I, that's great that's one of my favorites as well and then to the right just to the right of that we have eerie number three there's like this big monster coming out of the ground and like a dude who, who's like scuba diving and it's just <laughs> A, and the, I love the colors around the big monster, you know? It's like, yeah. There's like a lot of blended stuff. Really dope cover. Yeah, and then next up we have issue 81, which is really cool King Kong homage there with the, the planes flying around the tower, almost like the Empire State Building, which is another really awesome cover. And then... Just to the right of that, we have Eerie number eight. This was the Nazareth cover and actually yeah. was from a book. And it's just crazy, this dude coming down with a sword onto this other dude with a sword. And then it's like kind of all all black and it's really, you know, really, really dope. Like, you know, how the kind of contrast like that. And then oh, also yeah. I have the kind of planet in the background or, you know, whatever yeah, that is. The dark with that bright, like, yeah. planet or whatever really is awesome really cool yeah all right next books um these are going along with that worn magazine this is creepy now and as you can see in the top left we have that great dracula cover i absolutely love it and as you dude this cover is like crazy this is creepy number five you yeah. see the dracula he's in all black he looks creepy as hell Walking then we have the swamp walking through the swamp we have the bat in the bottom right super dope and then we even have like if you look to the left and down to dracula like kind of these faces coming out of the swamp like it's just absolutely crazy and then like the left to like the left just to the left of dracula there's like the smoke coming up and you know the it's fire and yeah super crazy cover Definitely some classic Bram Stoker Dracula vibes off of that one. Yeah, crazy. And then, dude, the creepy one, like these, the creepies, man, that was so dope. Creepy yeah. one thirty one. We got that werewolf like going after this guy, and then like this castle in the background. Wes, you, you were talking about how you love how um, uh, Frazetta draws monsters and beasts. Oh yeah, dude. What do you think about this one? Yeah, that 
that's awesome. The werewolf coming up over the rock about to pounce on that guy. That's just awesome. Literally, yeah. I mean, so crazy. And then to the right of that, we have creepy number eight. And this is like pretty freaking violent, dude. This is, uh, yeah. <laughs> they're like literally like stoning this woman to death. Or like, I don't, I don't know. They're like, yeah. they're like, uh, putting a stake through her heart. So I guess she must be a vampire. Yeah. Um, but my fear about this is like, it looks like it's in a cave, right? And the, yeah, like some cave or catacomb or something. Right. Dude, that, the way he drew the cave around, isn't that dope? Like with the colors. Yeah. Like those covers are crazy. And then Wes, talk about creepy number two, man. This is another great one. Oh, yeah. That one's awesome with the guy surrounded by like monstrous demonic wolves that are about to get him. Like, again, for Zeto, the monsters and the werewolves and all that stuff, it's incredible, especially on these horror magazines. Yeah, and I love the like the red behind him too. It really adds oh, to yeah. it, and especially that especially that like wolf, uh, wolf like to the right of like just to the right of him, who's like leaping out at him. Yeah, like that's crazy, man. Really, the creepies are are one of my favorite series. Okay, and next up we have a four issue limited series of Death Dealer, which these ones are really cool because they took Frazetta's Death Dealer paintings for the cover but then they had a different artist do the interiors and they kind of wrote a story about Death Dealer. And another really cool thing about these books is it was published by Verotica, who is Glenn Danzig's publishing company. And Danzig also wrote the story for these issues, which is really cool. Yeah. So, uh, dude, we obviously have all these classic Death Dealers. Um, Death Dealer, just, just a classic for Zeta. Oh, yeah. The whole series, one through five of them, are all incredible. Yeah, we talked about these on our, our last video, and I I don't know. I, I don't think I've ever seen that one on the right. That's yeah. the first I've seen that. Do you know which number that is? That might be... I think it's three or five. That's crazy with the... Again, Frazetta drawing the monsters, man. With yeah. the, the alligator, this big freaking like, alligator, crazy alligator monster. He's in the swamp. He likes swamps. You can tell he yeah, likes swamps. seems to notice that. Yeah, because you know, I mean, sw I, you know, swamps are creepy. You know, yeah. Um, and then you got us. Uh, well, I mean, if you've the seen the never-ending story. <laughs> well, yeah, right, yeah. The one all the way to the left, Death Dealer, um, just going in. That was actually, but that was Conan the Conqueror, right? That that painting is called. Uh, it's it's a similar style, but that is Death Dealer one. It's a, oh, that is okay. Yeah. His Conan the Conqueror one looks looks like in a, he's in a similar pose. Then, yeah, um, I believe. But yeah, really dope series. All right, guys. Next books. Uh, these are some of my favorites. Blazing Combats one and two. He actually did all. He did one through four. And they're crazy covers. We're just gonna talk about one and one and two. These are super intense. Um, they're obviously oh, yeah. this is a war um, comic book. The one, the number one, which is on the left. Super dope cover. This dude is just freaking firing his machine gun in his left hand. Got his buddy in his right. Rambo. Yeah, literally pulling a Rambo. Um, crazy cover. And then he's, you know, there's water like around him in the background. And look, like look to the left of his head. There's like blood in the air, you know? Yeah. And there's a lot of detail. You can even see the, um, the bullets, like the shells coming out of his machine gun. Super crazy. Oh, yeah crazy cover i love this so much um and then blazing combat number two wes we were talking about this this is intense this is actually like oh, yeah. pretty, i mean this it, is that issue two definitely gives me like the opening scene of saving private ryan vibes yeah. where it's just they don't hold back it's gory it's horrifying it's very, like for war and it's very gory. i mean we literally have a guy like the front whole front like bottom half of the cover is this dude laying on the ground who got shot in the head. You could see the smoke yeah. coming out of the bullet hole in his helmet and like the, the blood coming down from his head. Like that's so this guy bad. getting bayoneted in the front and planes right, and dropping got, bombs. Like yeah. that's incredible. The smoke coming out, guy getting bayoneted and it's cool how you can see the bayonet go in. Yeah. Wow, it's kind of like the Frank Miller thing um, with uh, what, what he did with Electra. 
Yeah. Uh, very probably, much like that. Um, but yeah, the way just action, man, the way he draws action scenes is especially these crazy dope. I'm definitely okay. Pick okay so two. now we have just some kind of random ones that Frazetta did. And I really like this beware number 10 here. The zombie is going after this girl. But other than it being an awesome cover, this book was actually cited in Seduction of the Innocent, which is, I f yeah. think that's really cool that Frazetta had a part in, like, that really, I think it's really cool part of comic history with the creation of the comics code and all that stuff. Yeah, and just Frazetta horror stuff, like, <laughs> the way he draws the zombies, man, that's crazy. Yeah. Um, and then we obviously on the right, we have this, this is a really classic Frazetta cover. Weird Science Fantasy number 29. It's like these, these, these like prehistoric ape men falling off a cliff, you know, and they're all, you know, the, the one guy is obviously not an ape man, but he's like fighting them and he's yeah. bashing them with clubs. And it's like super intense. And it's cr crazy the way he draws people because he makes them yeah. really muscular, you know, like all those guys are like really muscular and they like, they look like jagged and crazy and dope, you know? Yeah, it's like the one guy there just clocked the one off the cliff and the other's climbing yeah. back up. Like, that's incredible. Yeah. And I love the uh, how it's like cliff and then like to the left is like a sunset or like, a you yeah. know, like, I don't know, like it's the sun. It's, some, it's bright. It's pretty. And then there's like this image of people beating each other to death, you know, right next to <laughs> it, you know? Really, that's that's a super, and that's a classic. I I think everyone yeah. really recognizes that. All right, and to finish this up, we have these Ghost Rider covers, and this is not the Ghost Rider you're thinking of. This is um the original Ghost Rider, Western, Wes. These are crazy. I didn't even realize. Oh, yeah. I didn't really realize these were a thing, man. But these are dope. Yeah, I mean, it's more literal to the Ghost Rider name than you know the Marvel one because it's literally a ghost riding a horse. Like that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so um, to the left here we have number three. Really, cr he like draws this. He draws smoke and like bombs exploding. Really cool, yeah. you know. Because as you can see, there's a dude who's like bombing the train. Ghost Rider's trying to stop him, and then like you can see the 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 white of the Ghost Rider right in front of the crazy explosion. Really cool. And then for number four, which is in the middle. We have Coast Rider coming out of the grave, and like I think these guys are like yeah. probably grave robbers. Yeah, that would, that would make sense. Yeah, and like his cape is like you know up, and it's like yeah. in the background too with the purples and pinks. Oh yeah, the background, crazy. And then Wes, this is probably my favorite number two here. Yeah, we have yeah, that's awesome with Ghost Rider getting ch chased down by that chariot or I guess what wagon, whatever you call it wagon freaking and the dude who's on the who's driving the wagon looks like a demon demented like yeah. goblin you know and like and ghost riders like you know chase getting chased by him it's, it says the ghost rider meets death stage coach so like you know what i mean like it's just i really like that ghost rider design like he's all white he's got that cool hat he's yeah. got the horse he's got the white cape like he looks like a man it's he's definitely that spaghetti western look Yes, very and very cool. Um, these are great. All right, guys, so that's the video. I hope you enjoyed this. Guys, drop a comment on what your favorite Frank Rosetta cover is. And also, yeah, hit the like button, subscribe. We're going to be doing a lot more videos like this. We're going to be going over comic book histories, um, famous artists, yep. writers, that kind of thing. Um, and obviously, we're big Frazetta fans, so we did we had to give them two videos, you know. <laughs> um, but, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.